Assalamu alaikum my dear students of class 7 this is your teacher miss yusra mughal and i welcome you again in our virtual class which is organized by metropolitan school so my dear students today we are going to start our new chapter that is lesson 25 in your book and the name of the lesson is what to look for in a zoo so what do you guys understand by this title that do you guys believe that in this chapter we are going to start about talking about zoo no this is in this chapter we are suggesting you that this is not for the zoo but for the beauty of the animals that are in the zoo so what do you guys think that why zoo is so important why we are some of the person, some of the students are willing to go to the zoo again and again. Why is that so? Because we can come closer to the creatures and we can come to know about their behaviors, about their habits of the different seasons. So it might be a great activity for you people that you will have to go to the zoo on the frequent basis and you can note down the habits of the different animals. But right now, the topic of this chapter is something else. So now we are going to start our basic topic. As you have seen, there are two types of picture. That is one is the herd of ibexes, another one is a leopard resting on the snowy mountains. So have you seen that those picture and it, is it easy for you to find these creatures out in their own pictures? No. Why? because of their patterns because of their colors so my dear students the basic of this chapter is the protective coloration as you have seen that there are herds a uh, herd of ibexes so i can found one two and three of them right but it may be very difficult might be very difficult for you people to find it out because of the color because the color of the rocks and the skin of the of that animal is almost the same right similarly in this case we have seen if we are focusing on something then we are came to know that there is a leopard sitting on the snowy mountain but at once we are not going to see it properly but if we are seeing it uh, in a good way so we can found it out that there is a leopard sitting on the mountain so what was that that was the protective coloration so what is protective coloration by which an organism or any of the animal or anybody is actually or apparently made less visible or less attractive to predators have you ever seen the army dramas in which they have seen like they are uh, they are doing some sort of painting on their faces they are doing uh, some help some leaves on their helmets as well so what are they doing basically they are they want themselves to be invisible to the other people to the enemies as well so similarly the case is that of the animals as well so while keeping this thing in your mind keep three points in your mind that animals why this color protection is necessary hide warn and confuse so what is the criteria what is the procedure when the animals should hide animals hide in the open when their color is similar to that of surrounding so the color of their body is very much is very much important for their surrounding they can they are hiding from the surrounding right there is one thing else that is worn so bright colors animal bright colors mean the patterns of the snakes right so those type of animals want that the colorful animal is dangerous and poisonous another thing is confused how can you get confused by the animals through their patterns to the fur sometimes through something complex pattern on animals confuse predators by breaking up the outline of their bodies so this is how you can just uh, you can just remember three words that hide warn and confuse now let's take another example do you see there is a zebra is in the picture is it visible to you is it very clear to you no zebra is here but his pattern is like 
that he is hiding somewhere in the jungle similarly is it case with the giraffe as well the giraffe is hiding if if there is a jungle full uh, tree uh, full of trees so it's hiding just because of his patterns so there is another thing that is a angel fish what is this angel fish do this angel fish uh, it's not easy to find it out it's the number one uh, the number best example of this uh, of uh, color protection and there is another thing the place it's also a fish have you seen have you find out the fish over here this is a fish it's half the characteristic of the shamalan as well in on which surface it's it's up on which any sort of surface it's it changes its colors to that surface so it's in on the sand so you have seen that fish is like a sand so it is very difficult to find it out now the chameleon it comes from the reptile family and for the reptile this is one of the very important and very famous that we all knew that when it goes on any of the brown stru structure it comes brown and when it go to any of the green structure it comes green or when it go any of the different color objects or structure it changes its colors itself likewise the object is uh, he uh, he plays to right so what are the uh, what are the main benefits of it while he was changing his color it protects him from his enemies number one one is for most important obviously and it makes him nearly impossible to be seen by the insect on which he feeds so these are basically two important things for which he can change his color right another thing a great many creature have what are called the warning color right so that is to say the coloration wants every creature as i said you before that the bright color uh, creatures are poisonous are very dangerous so you have seen the structure of this the skunk is one of the best examples with its brilliant black and white color and when you come closer to the skunk it spread a fluid or a smell it is spread a fluid or a smell which is not bearable so you can not going to uh, closest towards this skunk the other one in this category is small tree frogs great number of creature likes to eat frogs have you found it very delicious to eat frogs no but what happened then when creatures wants to eat frog they ooze out a substance on their skin which makes them taste horrible so these frogs are generally banded in bright warning uh, bright warning colors which i told you before that is poisonous and that is the bright colors like orange red yellow and bright green in color and it tastes really bad there is another thing that is boa constrictor and number and is the python what is uh, have you seen a we have seen a lot of beautiful snakes we have seen a lot of pattern on the snakes as well so when the snakes is lying down on the floor or it's it's up uh, going up what on the tree it's it's very difficult to find out that there is a snake and why it's difficult to find out because of the pattern have you finding out among the leaves the rotten leaves have you find out there is a snake no so that's why the animal come closer to that snake and they and they eat them easily so this is how they are hiding through this pattern of their skin they are hiding themselves and they are easily eat their uh, food and they easily get the food because of just of their pattern so my dear students have you people found this chapter very informative as it is so because of we are studying something out of the box like a zoo we are just talking about only animals that just zebra and just tiger and this line but now today we are studying something very different which is very informative as well so i hope that this lesson uh, you may found this lesson very informative and very good and i hope that you understand this lesson as well so for many of the explanations if you want so you will have to go through to read this uh, chapter as well and for the exercises you will have to go through to the pdf 
forms which will be uh, which will be provide you uh, with the lessons right see you in the next lesson allah hafiz